Hello everyone, it's Justin with My Man Justin's Collectible Emporium. Welcome to the third binder opening on my channel. It's going to be a really great binder, a lot of cards from the Platinum and Diamond and Pearl eras, <clears throat> a lot of Level X cards and older EX cards as well, as well as some Diamond and Pearl promos, and we'll get right into it. And just a reminder to people that are just tuning in now, what I decided to do was quit my job, leave my apartment, and travel the world to collect Pokemon cards. This channel is for collectors that want to add a little more information and depth to their own collection. This is for buyers and investors to get an understanding of the current market and cost of cards as well as predictions. And it is just for people that enjoy seeing cards, hopefully see some new ones. I go into more obscure cards, commons and uncommons as well from older sets to show you some cards with some great artwork that you might not have heard of. All right, and we're in it. So here on this first page, we have cards from the Platinum Arceus set. This set was based on Pokemon featured in the movie Arceus and the Jewel of Life. And Arceus, the theme of Arceus is it's like the creator or the god of Pokemon. There's a few variations of Arceus in this set. Some Level X cards, as well as a separate set of Arceus, the AR set. So here are these. These cards are gonna be worth um, probably under $10. And as usual, I will showcase cards uh, for investors and cards that are gonna be worth around the $10, eight to 10 to $12 range. So. They also released this set, uh, the AR set. There's nine cards. They all are a different type. Here is the electric and grass type Arceus variations. Uh, also, there's the Salamence. This is going to be one of those cards worth around that $10 range. Salamence, dragon type. Dragon type Pokemon usually do have a premium. And as usual, Gengar, another card going to be worth around $10. Gengar usually carries a premium. A lot of Gengar collectors, a lot of fans of the Pokemon itself. This next set is the Platinum Supreme Victor set. In this set, the chase card would be this Charizard for sure. Depending on condition, this card can go anywhere from 25 to 45 or more. And this set also showcased two new type of uh, Pokemon SP, special Pokemon. Uh, as you can see with this Rayquaza, the C stands for Champion Cynthia. Here she is in the lower corner. This card's gonna be around that $8, $10 range. And we have the FB Pokemon, it stands for Frontier Brain. The Frontier Brains were the Pokemon in the Battle Frontier that gave out symbols to the trainers as they progressed through and also another card worth around $15 is this secret rare Articuno um, they released the three legendary birds in this set they were unique in their artwork uh, the hollow pattern looks really nice got the stars in it like a shadow of Articuno or a negative image shadow of Articuno there I think these look really nice and Really bright, nice uh, hollow pattern on them. This next set is the Platinum Base Set. And this set, one of the interesting secret rare cards would be the Scyther. It's uh, like a reprint of the original Jungle Scyther. It's kind of cool to do, a little different. doesn't have the flat yellow border, um, the text is the updated newer formatting as well as the text down below but it's still the same artwork it's got a bubble pattern and a hollow which is a little different drapeon this is going to be a card and be worth a little more than the rest uh, around that ten dollar range it also showcased giratina in its original and altered forms and Giratina's theme was uh, a Pokemon that traveled between dimensions, while Dialga is a Pokemon that travels between time. So, really cool. 
Uh, this set also showcased the G Pokemon, which stands for Galactic. This next set is the Diamond and Pearl Legend Awaken set. Uh, the definitely have these cards and it is very nice. Uxi, Azelf, and Misprit were are the more valuable cards in this set. They can be worth anywhere from fifteen to thirty-five dollars. They also printed the World Championship promo cards, which are always worth less. They don't have the same hollow, or they don't really have hollow at all. And yeah, these are going to be worth around that twenty-five dollar range, depending on condition. Very nice cards. Also, this set, the pre-release card is Bucks Training. It was the first supporter card uh, to be a pre-release. Pre and this next set here is the Platinum Rising Rivals set. So now this card, I was mentioning the World Championship promos. This is what they look like. They always have some Japanese characters, and they don't have the holo. Um, this card is only going to be worth 8 to $10, but the... Actual lux rate from the set is going to be worth about 30 to 35. So, this set was also the set to include new SP Pokemon, special Pokemon. There was the four and the GL Pokemon. The four, as you can see here, stands for the Elite Four Pokemon that were uh, owned by the Elite Four. Shows their picture in the corner there. This is going to be around that eight dollar range or above. This one too, around that $10 range, has the GL, stands for Gym Leader. So it's a Pokemon owned by a Gym Leader. And it shows the picture of the Gym Leader here in the corner as well. This next set is Undaunted. We went through this set in an earlier video of the uh, rest of the set, the Commons and Uncommons. I think it's a really nice set. It also showcases Espeon and Umbreon as some of the more popular cards in the set, especially for Evolution collectors. These cards are, are considered what they call prime cards, kind of like the EX or Level X cards of this era. They always showcased the Pokemon up close, just the face, uh, with the hollow border and background. I wasn't, I am not a huge fan of the prime cards, um, but these two cards here are both going to be worth around that ten to twelve dollar range, and this car, this set is one of the sets also that showcased the legend cards. And I think these cards, I think the artwork is just excellent on them. Put together, they make one card, and I think the artwork's great. It's really intricate. It's colorful. It's really nice looking. And since these sets that showcase these, I don't know, I don't think there's any other sets um, beside the other ones in this era that showcased cards where you put two together to make one, but I think it was a really cool idea. It hasn't been done since, as far as I know. Rayquaza and Deoxys. Really cool. And these are going to be worth pretty good money, um, at least $30 for the set. This next set is the Diamond and Pearl, I'm sorry, the uh, Call of Legends set. So this set, uh, one of the nicer cards, going to be around the $10 range, would be this Tyranitar Prime. A lot of Tyranitar collectors out there. It's got three attacks, which is a little more rare. I'll actually be showcasing a Tyranitar later that's very special. It has four attacks. Something else cool about this set is a less known error card. As you can see here, Fanpy is spelled correctly. And here in the Pokebody, it's spelled Fanfi twice incorrectly. So, kind of a cool error card for all you error, error collectors out there. I know there's a lot of them. And uh, also with this set, there is 11 shiny variants. So that makes it, I think, a good set to buy packs from. The packs are going to be a little more expensive, obviously, because of that. But you have a little more variation to get nicer cards. There's Ho-Oh, Raikou, Suicune, Lugia, 
Um, there's some really cool shiny cards with their shiny variation color forms. So, also, I'll note in May to June of 2010, there was a, in Japan a promotion where if you bought two Legends series packs, you were entered into a drawing to win one of a thousand sets of shiny of the Ho'o, Lugia, and Teiraiku, and Suikun. Uh, so if you're uh, a Japanese promotional collector, those are going to be some very rare cards, very cool cards that you might not have known even existed. So here, this page, are just some Wizards of the Coast era cards. I'll note, too, with this Koga's Ditto, the Gym Heroes and Challenge Set cards hollows are getting to be a little more realized in price. They can be worth anywhere from $15 up to $45. Like, for example, Blaine's Moltres is going to be above $30 uh, in mint condition. So definitely something to look out for for investors, these uh, gym set cards. Uh, this Jolteon would have been the one of the nicer cards to pull in a jungle pack. It also comes in an air form without the jungle symbol. And this Ancient Mew, as I mentioned in a, a older binder, there was a version of this released in Japan before the North American release that was given out at the Pokemon movie. Uh, the holo pattern for the Japanese version made before this is a little different. There's also another error on the Japanese version. Instead of Nintendo, it says Nintendo. So another cool error card that you can collect. Here are just some uh, X and Y era cards. This was the era that showcased the full art and mega cards. You see that here? These are going to be worth uh, around the $10 range as well. Um, here's also a secret rare with the gold border. This Rayquaza card, I've seen people even getting these graded. I think it played well in the game. So it's going to be worth around $5. Uh, they also showcased in this set the full art textured trainer cards. There's Lysander's Trump card. Here they also started showcasing these gold bordered uh, secret rare cards. They looked almost exactly like the normal cards in the set, like for example the Mega Heracross and the EX in the set, but there's just a little bit of a gold border you can see there. Just looks a little different. The hue of it is a little more gold. Uh, there's also a Mega Charizard secret rare in this set. And uh, looks just like the regular Mega Charizard, just has that little bit of gold in it. And this Full Art Dragonite, only about a $5 card. Here we have some Diamond... Here we have some Diamond and Pearl era promo cards. Uh, some of them have some, some like ink here, some creasing. But uh, I think some of the nicer cards in this set would be this dark rye. There's a lot of dark rye collectors out there. Looks really nice. The level X cards look really nice. They 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 um they just haven't been really realized in their price yet. Pokemon wasn't especially popular. These sets aren't especially popular. There's not a whole bunch of really special cards in them, with the exception of maybe Call of Legends and the the two card legend uh, cards. Uh, this Charizard. This is gonna be about a fifteen dollar card though, right here. Promo Charizard G Level X. Here, there's some nice cards here. This Mew, this is going to be about a $30 card in this condition. In better condition, it could be worth up to $60. Uh, a lot of Mew collectors, Mew's card that takes a premium, especially these older EX cards are getting also uh, more and more valuable. They're another card that is being more realized, more collectors are being um, aware of them, and they like the, the artwork on these old EXs, uh, as do I. Here, this is an interesting card. This is a card that was given out during the Japanese screening of the movie Arceus to a Conquering Space Time. Uh, it's got that speckled hollow pattern on it. They were given out in random card packs. Uh, there's three variants of this Pichu and a total of a 22 card set and they showcase the M uh, SP Pokemon which is movie Pokemon. This Raikou is something to look out for. It is a card even just a normal EX. It's going to be worth at least $10. I think it's a card that also played well. 
These three, this is a set of Heart Gold Soul Silver promo cards. It's the three uh, starter evolutions for that set Typhlosion, Trialligator, and Meganium. There's a Charizard EX. This is only a maybe six or seven, eight dollar card. It's one of the le less expensive Charizard cards. This Electrovire is going to be uh, in that ten dollar range level X card. So yeah, the, the, the level X cards are consistently uh, lower priced than say the older EX cards. They, they, they just haven't really got to the point where they're extremely sought after yet, but that might change in the future. This page, we've got some pop promos. This is a pop series um, four Mew and a pop series two Suicune. They're only worth a few dollars each, especially in this condition. But I will note that the Pop Series 5 pack is going to be the pack that has the Gold Star Espeon and Umbreon. And in PSA 10 condition, those are going to be at least $5,000 cards. So, and remember with the Pop Series packs, you only get two cards in them. Uh, this card I've seen people get graded a lot. Uh, ungraded in this uh, decent condition. It's going to be worth around $10, $15. In the higher grades, it's actually... Uh, going for around 50 and 60. This last page, these are a Pokemon Rumble promo cards. So these are um, actually fairly valuable. Um, they were released with the WiiWare game, Pokemon Rumble. There's 16 cards in this set, having the Pokemon Rumble stamp, holographic. And they actually can be worth... Um, if in mint condition, this Mewtwo's got a bit of a uh, creasing and dent right here. It might be worth, even with that, 10 to $15. Whereas this Mew, in a little better condition, is maybe worth above 20 In mint condition, these cards can be very valuable. They were likely uh, not as widely released, so there's probably less of them available, which makes them a little more valuable. And, of course, Mewtwo and Mew being cards that carry a premium by themselves. So, all right, that gets us through this binder, binder number three. And thank you for sticking around and checking it out. I hope you saw some cards that maybe you didn't know about or that you would like to also now add them to your collection or just saw some artwork that you appreciated or just got more aware of what cards were out there and learned something about them. And I uh, appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I will have another set I'm getting this week, as well as some Shining cards from Neo Destiny coming up. So stick around. I'll be showing those off and talk about them, and I'll see you then.